we designed this um, the school and the executive education program that we have with ICLIF to be to be very embedded in a relationship with the industry, and we try to create a a very well balanced mm-hmm. classroom mm-hmm. Uh, with participants from multiple perspectives. Because to be honest, and you know this a lot better than I do, because you are a professor of leadership. Uh, leadership is such a personal and contextual um, thing. I think that this class specifically is very good for for people who are on a leadership transition stage. Professor Loredana, how are you? I'm very good, Sabri. How are you? I'm good. It's always nice to see you. I was told that you're one of the five professors teaching mm. a new program, which is called Leading Leaders in Action yeah. for the ECLIP uh, ASB Leadership Executive De- Development Program. Tell us what this program is about. So you are part of that program, Sabri, so you can tell me a little bit about it too, right? <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> so I'm very, very excited mm-hmm. that uh, we are offering this Leading Leaders in Action, in action. Executive Program at ECLIF. And I think it's a very unique program. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a program that uh, runs throughout five days and is taught by five different faculty members. Mm -hmm. And um, to be honest, we talk a lot about diversity and the importance of having multiple people from multiple perspectives in a room. But imagine having five different faculties in a room, each of them talking about leadership. Mm -hmm. That's going to be really cool, right? Right, right. So um, like you said, I'm one of the the faculty. my area of expertise is, is management, entrepreneurship, and what we call the ASB smart skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, along with us, we obviously have you, Professor Sabri, who you are a professor of leadership, right? <laughs> and you're an amazing mentor. We also have uh, Professor Tan. He mm-hmm. is specialized more on the biochemistry of leadership, which is super fascinating. Yes, right. Uh, we have uh, Professor Renato uh, Lima de Oliveira. Olivia. Uh, he's actually, um, he has an MIT PhD mm-hmm. in environmental science and political science, actually. So he's going to bring a perspective that is very unique to mm-hmm. the political spectrum of mm-hmm. leadership. Mm-hmm. And then obviously we have our president and dean, Professor Charles Fine, who's been right. teaching executive education for longer than I've been on this earth. I'm just saying that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he's going to bring, again, a very unique uh, perspective, maybe more of a Western perspective to, to mm-hmm, leadership, mm-hmm. and a perspective that is deeply embedded on his experience mm-hmm. of working with multinationals for the past 30 years. Right. There's so many leadership development programs out there. Mm. How do you think leading leaders in action is actually different from all the others that you are, that we have out there right now? So you might know that Asia School of Business has received multiple um, awards or, or nominations for innovation at ASB. Mm-hmm. And the reason mm-hmm. why I think we are so innovative is because from day one, mm-hmm. the school was very much embedded in this concept of action. Yes. Right? We, we designed this, um, this school and the executive education program that we have with ICLIF to be, to be very embedded in a relationship with the industry. Nice. And I think by being very close to the industry, we're actually a lot more relevant in what we teach, right? We're not just an ivory tower mm-hmm. of a faculty who's in their offices doing their research, right? Completely disconnected from, from the world of business, but each and every single one as us as faculty, we're very connected to the industry. The way we teach in our MBA program, we teach through a lot of action. Mm-hmm. So on one hand, we're bringing this expertise of being close to the uh, the, the corporate or the entrepreneurship world, if you mm-hmm, want. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, we have a, a module in this program of an actionable module. Right. Uh, in non-COVID times, we take the, the leaders in, in various actionable mm-hmm. um, environments. In this, in this case, only for this year, uh, we are going to use a lot of simulation, a lot of exercises, mm-hmm. um, intimate group work. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have to say, one thing that I've learned from this program is that people tend to live with a very transformative perspective. Wow. So it is not a program where people sit in a classroom and listen to lecture one after another the entire day. They get to get involved in so many different kinds of activities. I have to say, as good as the five of us are, Mm -hmm. even I would want to be sitting in a class listening to us for five days, right? Wow. So when when we design these executive education Mm -hmm. programs, we also look very carefully about who's in the room. Okay. Right, and we try to create a, 
a very well balanced mm-hmm. classroom mm-hmm. Uh, with participants from multiple perspectives. Because to be honest, and you know this a lot better than I do, because you are a professor of leadership. Uh, leadership is such a personal and contextual um, thing, right? Uh, the way my leadership style might be is very different than yours. And Correct. You, you taught me that in, in so many opportunities. So we want the classroom experience to be um, uh, constructive towards learning from each other, giving feedback to each other. Um, and I think feedback is always one of these double-edged swords, right? But by being in an environment of peers, Mm -hmm. I think participants would be able to learn a lot more about themselves, about others. So what kind of participants are you looking forward to to see in your classroom? So I have to say, I think that this class specifically is very good for for people who are on a leadership transition stage, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Even somebody like me. Somebody like you, right? Of course. Uh, somebody who knows for a fact that they are leading now, but they might have a bigger leadership mm-hmm. agenda to, mm-hmm. to tackle in a year or two or five. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, the truth is that each and every single one of us are leaders in one way. Yes. And also, I want to just say one more thing, which I think is very unique. Mm-hmm. We talk a lot about leadership, yes. but you know what we don't talk a lot about? Mm-hmm. Followership. Precisely. And I think every leader needs to learn how to be a good follower, a follower of culture, a follower of people, Mm -hmm. a follower of the board. Mm -hmm. So this program will also address this aspect of of realizing that in order to be a very good leader, you have to learn how to be a good follower as well. Five days is a pretty long uh, Mm -hmm. amount of time for a person to enter into a program, you know, seriously. So after having gone through the program, what do you think? a person could learn from uh, from the program? What kind of skills do you think they could develop better? So you think that five days are long? Think about it. The world has been trying to figure it out about themselves for thousands and thousands of years, right? Mm-hmm. I think this aspect of leadership, which is part of what we call it ASB smart skills, mm-hmm. we spend more time trying to learn about ourselves, about our others, about our organizations. Because, see, uh, Sabri, you know this very well, but my favorite expression is, mm-hmm. the job is easy. The people are not, right? Tell me about it. (laughs) So if you think about it, we spend most of our time and energy Mm -hmm. learning about people, learning how to manage people, learning how to deal with people, learning that you are people Mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So is five days too long? I think five days is just the tip of the iceberg. (laughs) I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Um, And finally, um, to those people who might be thinking about signing up for our Mm. program, what final words of advice do you have for them, Professor Loredana? I am so excited about this program. Mm-hmm. I want to sign up myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I really feel like this is going to be one of the flagship programs at mm-hmm, ASB. Mm-hmm. Again, the, this combination of having five different faculty, a Malaysian, a Brazilian, a Thai, an American, a Romanian, you know, it's so unique. It's so mm-hmm. interesting. Like I said, if I'm so excited about it, I really hope that you're going to get equally excited, if not more. So please just sign up. Mm-hmm.